Alright, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today I have a special treat for you. We're actually here in Homestead, Florida, and we're at the um, Fruit and Spice Park. Now this is a basically a county park, and uh, Miami-Dade County Park, and it's uh, the only park, only tropical fruit and spice park of its kind in the United States. So this is a rare treat to be able to check it out. We're at 24801 Southwest 187th Avenue here in Homestead, Florida. And basically when you get here, it's a kind of a horseshoe shaped parking. You're just going to park. And then there's uh, two buildings. So they just opened a new cafe over there, the Mango Cafe. And you can sit down and eat there. Um, I'm more interested in the actual park. So there's another building over to the left. And it's the park entrance. So inside the park entrance, inside the little building there, they have a little store. You could buy uh, fruit, uh, tropical fruit books. And they have some sampling of different fruits. And uh, that's where you, you know, pay the admission to go into the park. So let's go ahead and go right inside and let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the park entrance here and they're open um, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. seven days a week and you want to check their website or call them up. Their phone number is 305-247-5727 to find out when the tours are. Today's tours were at 11.30, 1.30 and 3 o'clock and I'm going to be going and you'll be seeing the 3 o'clock tour. Let's go ahead and go inside. All right, so we're inside the uh, entrance, park entrance to the Fruit and Spice Park, and it's a unique 35-acre display of tropical and subtropical plants from around the world. And basically, it was uh, started back in the 1944, and it was first proposed in 1935 by Lady uh, Mary Calkins Hyleen. Thank you. <laughs> and there's her picture there. And she wanted basically to uh, show people what could be grown in this area. And this is a 35 acres and there's like the overhead view. This is in the Redlands Historic District, surrounded by some of the area's richest farmland. So it's a huge place and hopefully we'll go out pretty soon and see it. Inside actually, uh, you know, you uh, pay for admission here and then they have a little fruit sampling station over here and you're going to get to... Uh, sample some of the fruits. They have little uh, toothpicks and you could sample some of the different fruits. There's a Rolinia fruit uh, that's uh, in the Adamoya family and let's see one called Cass which is a kind of a sour type guava. A coconut of course, persimmon, uh, Ambrella, I've never had that one before. They have all kinds of different things that you've never seen. Mamesa pote, guava, avocado star fruit, natal plum, canistel, Egg fruits, really good, and, and these guys over here, rue cams. Rucum, which is wild. Rucum. You roll it in your hands, gets the juices flowing, tastes a lot better that way. I see. And then what's this one? Adedensma? Anti, anti desma. It's like a grape, very colorful, purplish color. Has a relatively large seed, but very um, tasty. I see. Is that grown on a palm? Uh, no, it grows on a tree. Okay. All right, great. So hopefully, uh, these are the samples that you can look forward to and they always sample the uh, fruits that are ripe, that have fallen on the ground and that are in season. So don't worry about uh, sampling anything that's not ripe. It's all ripe here and they do have some rules. So you want to pay attention to rules and you're not supposed to pick any fruits from the trees and you could sample only the fruits that have been collected from the ground. So we're going to go out there in a second and uh, we'll check it out. Alright, so now we're at the entrance of the Fruit and Spice Park. We just paid our admission fee and you could definitely walk around. They have maps available so that you could see what's growing and where. And as you walk out, you can see this beautiful tree here and with these fruits on it, and these fruits are not yet ripe. They need to be on the ground and let's always look on the ground to see if there's any ripe ones. I don't see any ripe ones. I don't think this is quite the season, but this is actually called uh, black sapote or uh, sometimes known as chocolate persimmon fruit. It has a similar top as a persimmon with the uh, leaves there on the top. And uh, I've never really had a sweet one, and I don't know that they are sweet. All right, so we just got done with the tour on the tram, and actually that's a great thing to do as a tram tour, but afterwards it's even more fun. So you want to plan a whole day, actually, at the Fruit and Spice Park. After the tram tour, you could get out, or even before, you could get out and get a map. I have a map here of the place, and you could actually walk around and see all the different trees, and you could look for ripe, fresh fruit on the ground. And you just check out the trees. I like to walk around and look at all the different trees and so I'll be able to identify them later. So this is actually called the sandpaper mulberry tree. It's really cool. 
I noticed that if you, uh, you know, look at the top of the leaves, it's actually, it's like sandpaper. So this would probably be great as an exfoliant, used as an exfoliant. So let's go ahead and uh, walk around a bit more and see if we can see any other trees and uh, any ripe fruit on the ground. All right, so we're at the Fruit and Spice Park and any, th any fruits on the ground are fair game. So look what I see. I'm seeing all these coconuts, but there's a problem. We have these hard coconuts in the husk and I don't have any tools with me. I brought no machete, no knives or anything. So let's see if we could go ahead and open up these coconuts, the hard coconuts, without any tools. But look what we have here. We have a dumpster full of concrete riprap. So let's go check it out, see if we can figure it out. Okay, so here's the plan. I found some riprap, and all you need really is some big rocks or some concrete things. You're gonna set the coconut up. You're gonna take a little big rock and throw it down on the coconut. It'll bust up the husk, but it won't damage the nut if, as long as the coconut's an older brown coconut. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over to the, the piece of rebar sticking out of the concrete there and uh, impale the coconut and twist off the husk. And that will leave us with the, uh, just the coconut. So let's go ahead and do this. Can't really film it while I'm doing it. All right, so we're at the Fruit and Spice Park. Got to walk around a lot of the acreage here and found a lot of things. Had enjoyed a couple of coconuts that were on the ground and now I'm uh, very lucky to find the uh, egg fruit or the Candestel fruit tree. And uh, there's lots of uh, egg fruits on the ground here. So the challenge will be just to find some that aren't too rotten and too, um, and too bug ridden and ones hopefully that just dropped off the tree. And uh, I think I'll be able to make a meal out of it. So I'm gonna be eating some egg fruit. All right, so we're at the Fruit and Spice Park, and this is probably more of the uh, vegetable part. Actually, they're growing a lot of uh, different vegetable plants and water plants. So actually over here we have a lotus, and I guess the lotus root is edible there. And they have other things growing from basil to lettuce and tomatoes. And so this is like the little vegetable area. They all have it on... Uh, overhead sprinklers and it all looks pretty nice you'll drive through this on the tram tour some tomatillos and uh, eggplant over here I guess they also have a uh, miracle berry fruit over here let's check that out real quick see how that's going see how it's growing <laughs> oh there's one on there okay oh it's not quite ripe yet that's a, that's a miracle berry fruit right there. Nice little red fruit. After you eat the miracle berry that for the next hour or so, anything that you eat that's sour will taste sweet, and things that are sweet will taste even sweeter. And they say this is from Africa. In Africa, they don't have too many sweet foods, so they, they needed the miracle berry was what they said. All right, so this is John Kohler. It's the end of the day here. They're closing up, and I need to get out of here, so I hope you've had fun at the uh, Fruit and Spice Park here in Homestead, Florida. Let's uh, head out.